Okay. Uh, carrying on from the last question we did where we calculated the uh, full load current and the prospective fault current at the transformer and the impedance of the transformer, we, we've got them all down here. You can see there um, I've, I've listed um, all the stuff that we found in the last question. And so now the, the next um, the next question to tackle is, if, well, if we've got cons mains running from the transformer to the main switchboard, okay, and we, we get, we're told what the, the, um, the mains consist of, um, and we have to calculate the prospective fault current at the main switchboard. Now, an easy way to look at this will be just to, to look at a single line diagram for this. And so we can put the transformer in here. All right, so that's that. Then we can put a single line out to the main switchboard. So we can call that the main switchboard. We can fill in some little details. So we already know that this is 0.0156 ohms. So we can put that in. Now we need to find um, the impedance of this cable. Now, of course, I prepared this a little bit earlier and I can tell you that for 150 mil squared X90 SDI laid in trefoil, I can tell you that um, the reactants, the cable reactants, so that's XC, now we'll teach you a little bit later next year how to how to go about finding all of this stuff from uh, AS3008. But for now, I can tell you that, that this cable has a reactance of 0 0.0844 ohms per kilometre. We're interested in the reactance because the cable is bigger than 120. That's, that's what we work off. Uh, we can talk about that in the rule book um, in in the in the discussions but um, for now I'll, I'll just that's enough for you to know that that's the case and the RC is point 0 0.0.16 ohms per kilometer all right and so we can find out well we know that it's it's 63 meters so the the calcs are pretty easy um, the reactance for 63 metres of that cable is 0 0.0844 times 63 over 1,000 because it's in, in kilometres. So we divide by 1,000 and that gives us 0 0.0053 ohms of reactance for that cable and the RC gives us a 0 0.16 times 63 over 1,000, and that gives us 0 0.01 ohms, or close enough to. You can check these on your calculator. I'm, I'm fairly confident I'm right, though. And so Z, of course, it's a long thing there, so it's 0 0.0053 squared plus 0 0.01 squared, and that comes to 0 0.0113. And of course, as we always knew would happen, it would be the longest side, so it's the longest, it's the biggest value out of X, R, and Z. All right, so that's ZC, we'll label it. So, now, we already know the, the prospective fault current here. So PFI there, at the, main, at the transformer, we've got 14735, we want the PFI there. And we're going to find it. And it's, it's like this. PFI at the main switchboard equals 230 over a heap of stuff. 230 over 
Well, if we just put in the transformer value, it'll give us this. But of course, we're going to put in the transformer value plus this value. So it's um, 0 0.0156 plus 0.0113. And we bang that out in our calculator and we find that it's 8,550 amps. Alright. So that means the, 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 because of the cable we put in, we, the, the prospective fault current here is there's a lot less than it was here. Alright, so it's 8550. And the reason that's important is that we can say at the end of all of that, we can say therefore, therefore, circuit breakers at the main switchboard um, must be able to break. Well, nine k amps are what you'd be looking at. Well, there you go. 9k amps would be what you're looking at. So there it is. That's how it's done. Not too difficult.